Yeah. Um, I want to discuss today. There is uh, some complications that are really taking place now in my farmers, and today I have decided, or I wanted to discuss something with you about these rampant miscarriages. So let's put these guys in here, and then we see what we do. Um, actually. As we are doing our practice, I want to be also explaining to you what exactly is happening with your flock. Um, we might not say we might not say that the cause of miscarriage is one. It is uh, a component of many and many complications. Uh, basically, uh, miscarriage is not caused by one one thing or let's say a disease or something because it's a lot um some of them it is nutritional some of them it is um a, a disease some of them it is um uh, conditional because now when you look at the conditions we look at uh, the change of environment mostly and uh, if animals are used let's say to this kind of environment then you change it to another environment that can cause miscarriage then some other that's why most of the time me i don't sell animals which are pregnant reason being you might find those kind of conditions i think uh, let's move in as we try to discuss a lot of our things um about miscarriages and so on yeah so right now Let's discuss about the miscarriages and the causes of the miscarriages and how do you prevent miscarriages. Um, most of the time, like now where we are, this is a condition of a very serious rainy season. Actually, in all the seasons, this time Uganda, we have had a lot of rains today. And uh, the reasons why you see most of the goats really getting those miscarriages is because of the rain. Uh, the animals are not used to that condition. It is a stress. If animals are used to um, um, being in a, in a dry or oh, some days when it dries up and, you know, goats can really enjoy the movement, they can enjoy the grazing. But now in these conditions, they are getting less time to go and feed. Wherever they go there, they come back when the rain is too much and that can cause serious miscarriage. Um, some other issue, miscarriage, you see like the way we have confined these animals? The reason why we have confined them, we are going to check for those which are sick and then we do the treatment. And uh, most of the time, you guys, you have that tendency of gathering all these animals and lock them in as a result of uh, making more protection like safety um, people put their animals in and they lock them in that is not bad but that is a that can um, really cause miscarriages why because you see these animals are now looking very stable um, because they are not yet tired of here in their nature if you can find all those animals in one place most of the time they end up fighting and when they fight they can cause miscarriages so that is also another condition like confining animals in one place by force that's why we put an exercising yard which is big and good for them so that every goat is having a space whereby it is enjoying itself so the moment you confine them they are going to fight and that fight can cause miscarriages so before you say that this is a disease also look at that condition being in a very small space it can really cause miscarriage to the animals um some other issue that can cause miscarriages um the poor nutrition you know if an animal um really is not getting very good feeds let's say a feed uh the feeds which are rich in the protein you know uh building up the baby also requires a lot of protein. So if those animals are not getting feeds which has a lot of protein, it is also going to be trouble 
what will happen the body is going to eject the fetus and then the mother survives uh, some other condition uh, is a disease because most of the time if you're not doing proper spraying you'll go into a disease called heart water and when heart water attacks your flock of course miscarriages are going to happen there is some diseases that we that are known for miscarriages um, one of them is clostridio those clostridium infection you see what i told you these guys are fighting just because they are in one position and that can cause miscarriage actually before i even uh, went off the air what i just explained you have seen it by yourself so we can as well go into a disease um some of the diseases that causes miscarriages are clostridia clostridia um clostridium infections it's a cocktail of many many diseases which actually uh is coming from the soil it's a it's a it's a collection of many diseases and uh most of them are hygienic diseases most of them um um bacterias so what do we do like what mostly we did or like me what i did let me tell you one thing i have not experienced any uh, miscarriage here why because i'm doing the right thing so the disease like clostridio um or clostridium infections they can cause miscarriages and also brucella there is what we call brucella melitensis that is the brucellosis for robots you get so basically can can as well cause miscarriage but how do you know that this is brucella melitensis uh brucella what it does it causes a lot of um uh those miscarriages at a go you know like this flock of 300 goats you find that maybe over 30 per day over 60 per day that is how we see that this is brucella and always they have specific um period where they attack the the goats and that is in the in the uh actually at the end of the first trimester that is three to four months actually most of the time brucella attacks them in the later time of pregnancy uh if the goat gestation period is five months so like in four from three to four months that's when brucella attacks them and most of the time the goats come out when they have already formulated they have the hairs they have the head and it just goes out there and then and then uh, actually that is when we can confirm and most of the time when brucella happens there is those retained placentas always animals retain the placentas and that's also another sign of maybe confirming that this could be brucella melitensis so also uh, the close studios what for them for them what they do they cause a lot of clinical signs they cause diarrhea uh, they cause inflammation of the ears inflammation of the head of the animals sometimes you find that an animal has gotten an inflammation under here and then when you slaughter it you find a lot of fluid underneath you find a lot of fluids in the in the abdominal cavity let's say if you slaughter it you sometimes they even uh, come up with the result of um, producing uh, red urine those are all clostridios and also the prematures uh, an animal um, is pregnant for one month or two months the baby gets out like that like that what do we do to avoid that one do a proper house and make sure you don't confine animals in one section let them be what they want if they want to stay outside let them stay outside don't confine them like the way you see and you let them sleep in this house two um make sure that your animals are healthy you know um body scores also can tell you what exactly uh, an animal is telling you like if you look at this animal um its body score and the skin and you also look at this neighbor this neighbor uh, is most likely to get miscarriage like the way you see it's a rough hair coat that means the nutrition is not really good because for us here we do one uh we spray we do everything but now this one it's not digesting very well as compared to this i think you can look at even the bodies uh it can help you to identify an animal that is less nutrition uh 
uh, it gets less nutrients like the way you see hmm? this is doing much better and there is even those that are does much better i think you can see like this goat uh, this it is showing you that it's really doing very good conversion and this is not really bad you know so that is when you can know what do we do for that if you see those kind of conditions and most of your animals are really looking like that what do you do try your best and plant some grasses like alfalfa uh, brachelia molato chloris guyana and you try to supplement your animals make sure that you balance the diet if that is not the case and um, you think it is a disease um, or let's say clostridia we have we have vaccines that does a lot of that um, some of the vaccines that i trust right now is uh, ultra choice and there is another vaccine I have just seen, which is really very good. It is called, is it called poly, polyvin? Um, it has a lot of good, good strains that might really help us. And uh, we are soon going to test it. And I think it's going to do very, very well. There is also another vaccine that we used to do to use called Jovaclost. It was also very nice because it had all the strains and the animals were doing better. Um, for a case of um, um, the brucella, of course, we have brucella meritensis vaccine. Yeah, try to do to use it. And also, if the infection is already in your, uh, in your area and you're getting a lot of uh, miscarriages, I do advise you to make sure that every after two weeks, at least you give your animal uh, some pen and strip, like four meals, till when they produce, and then you start the schedule. Or else you can as well vaccinate that flock that you see some miscarriages with a clostridia infection S vaccine. So basically, that's what I really wanted to inform you farmers. Try to follow. Look for all the information. It's really going to help you a lot. Let me just wish you the best and bye for now.